money is just a wish. I don't like to dream about getting paid, so I dig into the books of all the rhymes that I made. Now I floundered in mainstream America when my cash didn't flow. I was an underdog picked between bullshit and a vicious undertow. Under no circumstance should you follow ignorance because what we don't know hurts us the most. You better guard your post because life is like a toll booth and it levies heavy taxes. Only the privileged are allowed easy passes. Freedom is a luxury, just like health care and education. We are free to be sick as a generation and dumber -er -er as a nation. Now I want you to stop. I want you to look, but most of all, I just want y'all to please listen. Because I'm being held in South Bay, which around my way is a prison. All right. Now, the powers that be ran some audits of my finances, and they found consistent sub-level poverty. Even with my bank broke, I still couldn't get financial sovereignty. Now, my neighborhood is filled with all these loan-sharking institutions. We got the Bank of America, we got the IRS, and we got these local Western unions. Okay. A lot of my brothers are locked behind bars, steel, and plexiglass. I was ahead of my class because dropping out proved to be fatal to some. And I've already lost count of my friends dead from the guns by the summer of 1991. It might have been 9, it was 12, 22, 25, 32, 38, 44, 357 is done loudly. Intelligent hoodlums on my block, master sociology, certified magnum, cum laude. If you're not part of the problem, you are part of the solution. Spin it. Good looking out to all the OGs who made me focus on academics. I was athlete, athletic city champ two years straight, but I couldn't track down a scholarship when it came time to graduate. Now this life is deep. It's molecular. The average black male experience is highly irregular. We are warriors, disorganized, but ready to fight. I know this is hard for most, but I told you motherfuckers earlier, you better guard your post. Your life, your mind is your biggest asset. You know the right answers, find the right questions, ask it. The fact is, I get back based on the fact that I'm a black man. I carry this burden of race, this innate stigma. You could be paperback, brown, mulatto, dark skinned to it, light skinned to it, but still y'all refer to me as nigga. Now my title is poet. I'm not a player. I'm more like that coach or that captain, and I earned this right. I paid my dues. I didn't do this through affirmative action. Now I'm passionate about using rap in this format. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm in love with this black woman named Jessica Care Moore mm -hmm. and the Moore Black Press. Now spoken word and hip hop music is like a movement. Some of us are drowned in this mainstream, while others like me, I remain deeply grassroots. 